Dear friends, as you all know, this is my Viziart Libertine series. Look number two is coming up. Are you ready? I am the swatches for today's look. Are you getting any vibe here? Because I am getting a beautiful dusky sunset kind of vibe here. Yeah, these are the four shades that I'm using. Let's be playful with the colors. Okay. I'm going to use my Deluxe Crease brush and dipping into Orchid Purple. Yeah, yesterday I used Orchid Purple on my lid. Today I am concentrating on my crease. Look 2 is going to be gorgeous again. Really, really excited to share this look with all of you. Just be playful with the colors. And here nothing pinpointed I'm just concentrating on the crease and transition area and if the color is coming on the lid I'm okay with that because I'm going to layer it with all the beautiful shimmers yes my friends those shades are pretty gorgeous and I love to work with these shimmers a lot a lot I love mattes but Viziard shimmers i just feel very very excited about if you haven't watched my biju royal series please go ahead and check that out because i am sure you will like it you will enjoy it and if you have that palette you will be more and more keen to work with that palette i think i'm missing something here oh today i forgot to light the candle I'll be right back. Yeah, I was missing that. <laughs> it's very soothing and pleasant. Yeah. Coming back to my Orchid Purple. What's on my lips? YSL shade 19. But this is a different one. So, you know where to check the name. This shade reminds me of that beautiful purpley fuchsia kind of shade from Viseart Editorial Brights. And I just love that shade. Actually, I'm enjoying this shade too. This is a very beautiful shade, you know, just a very soft, beautiful, soothing, fresh. Yeah, let's play with the shimmers now. Using my finger tool, going to cover my lid with this beautiful shade. Yes, on the center of my lid. And look at that. Just one swipe. Just look at that shade gorgeous did you find your combinations from this palette covering my lid with this beautiful beautiful shimmery shade I just feel very happy when I get to play with shimmers and these shimmers they just, they just become part of the lid you know they are so so saturated and they are very much present and absolutely pleasant. So satisfying. I'm just loving it. Okay. And now my friends, I am going to go for my this shade. Yeah. Flat shadow brush and this beautiful rich plum brown kind of shade concentrating on the outer corner a little bit of you know darkening effect there right there I'm feeling absolutely happy to play with this palette every single day a little bit of overlap here everything is coming along they're just blending beautifully into each other look at the colors just just look at the colors gorgeous as I said you can look down and pack the color because I really really want this color to be on my crease a little bit a little overlap with that beautiful rosy kind of shimmery shade oh gorgeous this combination is pretty surprising and absolutely stunning just stunning give it a try okay and now what my friends do you remember 
I always prefer to use my contour brush after this step here. Learning together, right? Dipping into that orchid purple one more time because as I explained yesterday, I really want this to give me a beautiful diffused kind of look also if there are any gaps it will come handy and give me a beautiful crease transition borderline so that is something i follow and i find it very useful lovely playing with colors it's so soothing relaxing and it is always you know pleasant and now taking that orchid purple you you got the idea right i am into that shade so so much into that shade and i'm going to go just very spontaneously on the lower lash line and give it a nice purpley kind of hue and there is more to this look this is my series and i am being playful with this palette and having fun with these colors you know this is something very very nice when it comes to lower lash line because it gives the whole look a beautiful touch now my friends today i'm going to use this small smudge brush and i'm going to dip into this color placing it on the innermost corner and bringing it down I like to experiment with colors today I am putting that beautiful stunning reddish kind of shade on my inner corners and also on my lower lash line as well so as you can see the purple is just peeping through that beautiful red reds are pretty gorgeous to work with and if you love red eyeshadows you have couple of options Vizyard Golden Hour, Vizyard Editorial Brights and this. This red is a pretty different red. It is actually a beautiful, bright, shimmery red. Okay, so every red has its own beauty. I really enjoy working with reds. Okay, and now I'm going to use this beautiful red and this portion, do you remember, barely touching my lids but I'm going to give it a nice reddish kind of touch right there look at that brightening effect just on the lid it is just stunning just a beautiful stunning look absolutely gorgeous the liner work and then the final touch Okay, be right Do back. Do I need anything else? Liner work done, mascara done, and I do not want to add anything else because I'm super satisfied with the way this look turned out. I did not go for a wing liner here because I really wanted to keep it till this area. Yeah, so that this beautiful diffused kind of dusky sunset look can just shine i am absolutely absolutely thrilled and pleasantly surprised with this look and i really hope that you try this look okay now is it too early to ask which look is your favorite i know there are a couple of more looks coming up so do not miss it day two done see you soon with many more pleasantly surprising looks on my channel so much makeup diary and you know what to do comment yeah and if you like the video give it a thumbs up 
subscribe if you haven't already and i will meet you guys again tomorrow bye